right, welcome to our third Every Joe podcast. I am parapsychologist Max Steele. I'm joined by cryptozoologist El Vega. That's right. Psychic Charlie <laughs> Miles and Soldier of Fortune Skylar Devendorf. Yes. Together, <laughs> we investigate the supernatural, the paranormal anomalies of our world. Woo! As long as you have enough money. That's right. And today, we are going to investigate the anomalously hot beauties that have appeared on EveryJoe.com. Yowza. These girls <laughs> are supernaturally hot. Yes. Out of this world hot. I feel that some of them may, in fact, not actually be natural. I don't think they're human. Hmm. I think not they're sure. still hot, though. Hot aliens. You think they're aliens? Well, I haven't seen humans that look like that look this good. They I think, are a freak of nature. I think they may be cyborgs. Uh, then I'll be Bob I'm fine with because they're then, really hot. Then that's a sylph. The moss, <laughs> silk, the cyborg I'd love to frolic with. Finagle. Fondle. So, so for those of you who missed our article, what we did is uh, we announced the 10 hottest babes on the internet, starting with number 10, and then we worked our way up to number one. And, uh, you know, we sort of let the world know that these girls were hot, um, for which men worldwide were grateful. You're welcome. <laughs> well, now that we've ranked them, they, they know what they are. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, several of them sort of got into some cat fights about who was actually the hottest. That was awesome. We're hoping to do videos of that. I hope so, too. Hopefully with pillows and feathers. Yeah, so we have this idea, actually, right? We talked about this. Yeah. Where we want to do, like, a pillow fighting contest. Yeah. um, Where it's like sumo wrestling but with pillows, and we get, like, the girls to fight it out. I think that would be awesome. I think that would be great. I'm for it. Pay-per-view? Yeah. Why, Why is that not a legitimate sport? Hockey is, but not this. What Didn't we say that we would get them dressed in, like, college sport, like, jerseys right. the and then idea. have, like, a bracket and then do, like, a betting pool and this yeah, whole thing? Yeah, exactly. Can we, can we do the betting I, thing? I think we should. I think yeah. we just need to be in Vegas. So if you guys <laughs> think that this is a good idea, if we should be doing, you know, pillow bowl. Yes. Pillow bowl. Pillow bowl on every Joe, let uh, us know. Where ads are significantly cheaper than Super Bowl. That's right. Yeah. Significantly <laughs> cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But All right. still probably just as effective. Or you should just yeah, comment. Yes. <laughs> yes, or comment. Let comment. us know what you think. So let's let's start off. Let's talk about these uh, 10 supernaturally, paranormally hot women, starting oh, with yeah. number 10. Who do we give number 10 to? Oh, I got number 10. It's uh, Laura Vinicombe. Oh, she's hot. She's, she's hot. I, yeah, no, I, I'm telling you, she is quite attractive. And she's British, which I didn't know those two things went together. No, British have a lot of hot There's women. Lot really? Of women. Yeah, also yeah. The accent. I, I, thought, I thought it was, uh, so it's the accents I don't. Ever since they burned down the White House in 1814, no love. They, Hold a grudge, this one. They, they burned it down in 1812, didn't they? Well, it was the War of 1812, but it was in 1814 when gotcha. they did it. Okay. Well, so people say never forget, and True. they forget, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Some people can't hold a grudge very long. Uh, I know. I mean, 100 years later, we rescued them in World War One. Yeah, how's, exactly. How's that for a short memory? Well, Pershing didn't forget the French. He didn't forget the French, but he did forget the fact that British had burned down our White House. Can we get back it's to the girls and the, 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 the hot right. Laura's right. yeah. No, no, she's a wonderful person, and she would not have burned down the White House if given the chance, I'm sure. Well, what's her Twitter? Uh, it is at L Vinicombe. And okay. it's spelled uh, V-I-N-I-C-O-M-B-E. All right. So you can check her out on Twitter. We also have some photos of her on Every Joe. Yes. We're going to reach out to her to see if we can convince her to do an interview. Uh, that would be awesome. With uh, lots of pictures. If you need someone to do that interview. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you I think mean, everyone's going to fight me? for this. Well, <laughs> we should have the pillow fight for the people fighting yeah. to do it. Yeah. I love and that. in that case, I'm going to take both of you down. You will. Oh, you know. <laughs> you will. Two on one. Uh, hey, we could yeah, do that. That's nice, but I'm bigger than I, I think this would be hot. All right, so who is number nine? <laughs> number nine? Number nine is uh, Jenny Romero. Okay, now I wasn't familiar with her before she won. Uh, neither was I. But she is definitely very hot. Yeah, apparently she's been in a few music videos. Ah, okay. Whose music videos? Do, uh, do, you, do you know? A, a few. I oh, think okay. Is, is that a new artist, a new I rapper? Think a, new guy. A, a few. A few. <laughs> new guy. She has. If you look at her butt, she definitely has like the music video butt. She yes. Really does. No. She yeah. she can definitely it's twerk perfect. that. I'm sure. Yeah. A lot of a lot of twerkability. Watch any one of these ladies twerk. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I would help them if they needed it. What's her Twitter? It is at real Jenny Romero. J e n y Romero. Because there are a lot of fake ones. Out Don't there. be fooled by the fake Jenny cool. Romero's. Jenny yeah. Romero. No, I think I went to high school with a Jenny Romero. Uh, Did she have a really nice No, ass? no, no. That's Jenny Rivero. Uh, or was it Jenny Figueroa? I don't know. For, for her own <laughs> sake, I hope this isn't her own name because she's about to get a lot of mail. Yeah. What with being on every Joe. The yeah. ninth hottest girl on the internet. Right, yeah. Who's number eight? I got number eight, and her name is Aaliyah Love. And she actually is a blondie, and I like blonde girls. Really? But, um, yeah. Hmm. Uh, okay. Just to set the record straight, <laughs> I'm not into girls. 
option. But, but if you were, but if I were, I like a blonde girl with a big ass. Blonde. That's big that's ass. my type. That's my type. Equal that, opportunity girls over so, there. Yeah. Okay, okay. And that's just alliteration. Alliteratively, that's fantastic. <laughs> if we presented you with a blonde girl with a big ass who was a ten, might you sway? Uh no. I mean, maybe if, if, if we put like a beard uh, on her, maybe and put no, some like, like no, 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 no. <laughs> I like girls to be you know feminine and right. clean, like and a perfect ass and blonde and beautiful. Like, well, so I think I people. have a perfect ass and myself. No, and no, no strings attached. She, her ass can be huge and perfect, and she can be blonde, but I don't know. I'm not. What if there are drinks I'm not, involved? <laughs> a buttery nipple. Buttery Whoa. nipple, the the big too. butt, the blonde. Yep, yep. All right, so we know how to make this happen. All right, All right so Leave let me... Leave a message in the comments if you want this to happen. <laughs> Aaliyah Love, call me. Oh, Aaliyah, actually, we should mention, has 150,000 Twitter followers, and she retweeted for us her win. Oh, so, she oh, did? Nice. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you yeah, very yeah. much, Aaliyah. Yeah. We appreciate it. That is it. awesome. Hearts yeah. out. I'd give you a gang sign, but I don't have one. <laughs> we're too cool. We yeah, we and we don't want to start by, anything. By cool, because you mean white. We are yeah. we are a secret gang, and only we know our gang signs. <laughs> Sorry, what's her that's Twitter? right. Her Twitter is at Aaliyah Love sixty nine, and that's mm. spelled A A L I Y A H Love sixty nine. All right. Was she born in nineteen sixty nine? I think it references some sort of sexual. Position. Yeah, I'm not oh, okay. sure. So Maybe she hobo, just likes those numbers. Rusty trombone is a. <laughs> right. If that's available, I should grab that. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, now the next girl I'm excited to talk about because she's actually my number one. Ooh. Okay, I know I said that I like blonde girls <laughs> with a big butt, but this girl takes the cake, all right? Shanika, cake? Shanika Adams. That's my girl right there. She has the most amazing ass. I mean, you guys need to check it out. Go to everyjoe.com and look at number number seven, Shanika Adams. You will never be the same again. Never, never. never. Oh, I wow. promise. Never, ever again. You're, you might have PTSD. Is, is she number one overall <laughs> to me on the sake of her ass, though? Like, that's it. Oh, gosh, like, that's a tough so one. You she's not blonde. She's not blonde. But I'm sure she could put on a wig or she something. She can dye her hair. <laughs> I mean, you can but, be blonde. This is El Vega. I mean, a lot of men and women are interested. True. Well, so that's true. true. She may dye her hair for you. She'll hey. probably wear a wig. She needs to call L. Call me, time. girl. Call yes. me. Okay, what's her Twitter? We want to so, give them the love. Well, I wanted to also mention that she loves to play video games as well. So Ooh. I thought that, you know, well, really then, spoke to the nerdy guys maybe out we there. Be and on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is at I am Shanika Adams. And, um, yeah. All right, check her out on Twitter. I, I just can't stop looking at her ass. Number it is eight amazing. Number hottest girl on the internet. Okay, number seven. Oh, no. No, she was number seven. No, no. She was number seven. Well, she was number seven. Shanika's number seven. Shanika's number seven. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. But she's my number one. I got nervous because I thought I had missed one. Who's number six? I have number six, and it is the lovely Violet 420. Uh. She has tattoos, and I am all about it. I have tattoos, too. I am for ink. I love it. What is your anyone. tattoo of? Uh, my family crest. Oh, cool. And I have a uh, little cartoon angel wings because I'm an angel. Yeah, <laughs> right. Not really. I have chest hair tattooed on my chest. <laughs> that's, it looks that's really clever. authentic. Very clever. It's like those artificial eyebrows that people get. Yeah. It's like the same thing, but for chest hair. I like it. <laughs> I don't have to shave. It's nice. That's awesome. That's perfect. Well, I don't think Miss Violet has chest hair tattooed No, I don't think she Probably does. For the best. She She's, is quite attractive. She is smoking. It's insane. Well, and her name's... And her smoking Violet 420. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can find her at Miss Violet 420. Now, we should mention uh, Violet 420's fans were definitely the most rabid of all the ones. Well, uh, I don't that, blame them. Have you seen her? She's gorgeous. She's definitely beautiful. They came on, they attacked us on Twitter and said we were idiots for not making her number one. Well, and she's also, my number one. Is she your number one? She's my number one. Oh. Hands down. Okay. She's super gorgeous. All yes. right. Um, so, thank you, Violet. Uh, for having really awesome vocal fans. <laughs> um, and tattoos. And tattoos. That's the way to my heart. Um, number five, we have Amy Jane Brand. And it says here that although she has the uh, the least amount of followers of anyone on our <gasps> list, she is smoking hot. How does like, she insane. have the least? Because, really? because she are... just got on the list. Yeah, Just wait. She'll I have guess, all the followers. I guess so, yeah. That She'll makes have sense. more soon. Yeah. That makes sense. She yeah. is, I can't, there aren't words. I don't know <laughs> what to say about her. She's 
beautiful, perfect, blonde. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah. Is she is she at least twenty one? I'm because I want to yes. go have drinks with her. <laughs> nice. I think well, we can. should. We should just take. We should just have you go out with all of the. All of I women would. I would. You know what? I would love to do exactly interviews. I would love to interview each and every one of these girls. Naked yeah. So would I. I would love to interview them. I don't oh. want to be naked because I would feel disgusting next to these girls. It's like whatever Aww. anybody wants to be comfortable in. Yeah. I yeah. mean, Bathroom. maybe you maybe be in naked. like PJs. PJ. Oh, lingerie. Mm, mm, lo- I, I was thinking more flannel PJs. How about, how about sensor bars? <laughs> Lingerie interviews. This is a concept. <laughs> it's a very good concept. Comment pillow if you talk. like this idea. Pillow talk. Oh, my oh, God. Pillow talk with, with El Vega. Vega. Yes. yes. Oh, I, I, I'll, I'll watch this show. All right. We got to stop the podcast because that idea is so awesome. We need to film yeah, it right go. now. Yeah, we got to go. Yeah. Get I'm, into your I'm not in my PJs yet. All right. All right never mind. <laughs> we, are, we will continue the podcast. We'll close our eyes. Okay. Well, <laughs> What's up next? Uh, well, I want to give uh, Amy Jane her Twitter love. So All you right. can find her at Amy Jane Brand. Just nice. how you think it would be spelled. And you should because she needs more Twitter followers. She's go- you won't be disappointed. Yeah. She doesn't need them, but we need her. Yes. <laughs> um, up next, number four. I'm going to butcher her last name because I don't know it? French. Uh, it's Bianca Beauchamp. Oh, I can do her. Beauchamp. 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 You want to do? Okay, so I'll do her. Uh, yeah, I know you Bianca? do her. Well, he, he's <laughs> <laughs> all right, taking all those French lessons. That's yeah, right. yeah. I have been. I have been. So That's Bianca funny. Bianca Beauchamp. She is from Quebec. She is French Canadian. Um, she is one of the two uh, French Canadians on our list of top ten, coming mm-hmm. in at number four. Um, you can find her at Twitter at uh, Bianca Beauchamp. That's B I A N C A B. E A U C H A M P, um, and uh, clearly something in the water in Quebec that all women should be drinking because oh, they yeah. are just yeah, it's over the top. It. Just over the top. Let them secede there. from Canada and join America. Yeah, I bring them over. I think we should make our immigration policy based on hotness. Yes. Uh, I, have you ever seen the movie uh, Ali G in the house? Yes. No, but I would like to. <laughs> I love it. Yes. And, and he takes over the uh, he takes over like the uh, uh, letting people into England. Mm-hmm. And it's based on how attractive you are, right? <laughs> so that he's just ahead of his time. I mean, everything Ali else G. will follow from that. <laughs> yeah, no, we need to bring our next president, Ali G. We should break the rules so we should have a uh, British. I'm in. President, I mean, bring it full circle. Since they burned down the White House, he can come and appreciate the new. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure. <wow. laughs> so when they bring hot girls in, you're all about forgiveness. Well, yeah. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I have it? priorities. <laughs> okay, should we move on to number three? We should. We should. Okay. Number three is Lexi Madison, and she is a cam model, so that's exciting. Yeah. I love cam models. Now, does everyone know what a cam model is? I, at first, was not sure. It's a model There's for a cam. There's glamour model or right. cam So or the idea of a cam model is it's a, a very attractive girl who sets up a webcam in a studio or her bedroom or a private place, and then she does a little dance show on the camera. You can tip her digitally. Um, you know, through the site that she dances for or, or performs for. If you spend enough tokens or virtual dollars, uh, then you can get a private show. So you can kind of imagine it's like a strip club, but, but over online. A so it's safer for the girl, it's private for everybody involved, and uh, they're getting very, very popular. The most popular site right now, I think at any given moment, they have a thousand girls webcamming at once. Oh, wow. and, and many What's of these, that site? Um, it's myfreecams.com. Because I'm not going to check it out later. No, definitely not. No, because we didn't need to know. I, uh, but a lot, of these, <laughs> a lot of these girls are on there, and um, and they're they're just dropped it gorgeous. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's if beautiful. It's, if, uh, if Bella French and this young lady or, or any representative, it is, uh, yeah. it's a great... Uh, well, they are, I mean, they are the creme de la creme, obviously. Yeah, obviously. They're on the list, so yeah. they are. Thank you, technology. Thank you, technology. Wait, now I have a question. Porn to I the obviously masses. don't know much of that, and I'm glad that you explained it. But I mean, what if I lived in Quebec and I wanted to see Bianca Beauchamp and like meet up with her? Would I be able to do that? Yeah, you or could just stalk her. Or is it only sure online? Like I, I want to stalk her. Yeah, you could just stalk her. So people do that. Um, okay, so some of the girls, some of the girls are also are also strippers that you can go see perform oh, at clubs. Oh, live! Okay, 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 okay. Go see live. Some of them do do escorting, but oh. most don't. Um, and you know, and it's really handled on a case by case basis, from what I understand. But for the most part, it's an online experience where you get a show through the internet. Okay, I see. So it's, I mean, I, it's more like it's in a sense like a porn movie that is real time, right? Okay. You know, like a streaming porn show, I guess. 
Cool. Good yeah. to know. So it's like a little bit of Amsterdam in your house. Like a little bit of Amsterdam. Yeah. I mean, Less like, smoky. Basically, we have taken the most powerful technology invention ever created by mankind and Amen. used it for porn. Amen. Well, rightly so. I yeah. mean, what, that's the whole point of Again, it, Again, thank you, technology. Thank you, Amen. technology. <laughs> also, thank you, technology. You can find Lexi at Real Lexi Madison on Twitter. Nice, and for all of these nice girls, segue. thank you, plastic surgery. <laughs> hey, and let's... What, did, what God, God didn't give them, what mankind did. Mankind did. Mm. All right. So um, I get to do number two and number one because... <laughs> you get to do everyone, it seems. <laughs> uh, you're doing a lot of things. Yeah. You should probably see a doctor. <laughs> Not from any of these women, but... All right. <laughs> so uh, number two is Tara Babcock, uh, who has the word cock in her last name, which we like. Makes sense. Um, <laughs> Fitting. And uh, she's got... You know, obviously, very beautiful girl. She's also a gamer. She's an entrepreneur. So there's a lot to a uh, lot to respect, a lot to love. You can find her Twitter at Tara Babcock. T A R A B A B Cock. That's right. All right. We just need a sound. Sure we just not- need a soundboard of L's just saying cock. Cock. Are you sure it's not C O Q U E? Oh, uh, mm. I'm, I'm wow. sure it's C O Q. Yeah. Why don't you say that one more time? Cock. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's right. better when it's just a matter of fact with the period, period yeah. Yeah, at the end. Cock. And then finally we come to our number one, Woo! who is the lovely Bella French. Yay! Now, if you didn't watch our first two podcasts, we actually had Bella here as a co special star, guest. Special guest. Very special um, guest. Mm-hmm. We can assure you she is, in fact, the hottest babe on the internet. Absolutely beautiful. And quite possibly the nicest. And, and yes. quite nice. yes. yeah. She is a doll. Very a doll. Nice. A living, the smartest people I've met. A living plastic doll of sweetness and light. She's beautiful. Yeah. We and for those her. of you who love the asses, and you may have heard, she actually has announced she's having a Brazilian butt lift <gasps> oh. in December, so she will actually have an even more rocking ass. Wow. So. I mean, I checked her out when she was here. She has an amazing ass. Is that she's just where they have everything. a Brazilian that follows her around and holds up her ass? No, mm. so what they, what she's actually I doing want to apply for that job. is she's <laughs> gaining weight. She's like gaining like 25 pounds, and then they suck the fat out, and then they sort of inject it to create that perfect rounded ass and lips. So it's like she's going to go from 10 to 11, and then at that point, I don't know what the universe explodes on do. itself. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. At yeah. that point, it'll be that will be the singularity. <laughs> so, all right. Well, those are the top 10, and uh, you can find Bella at Bella French 69 on Twitter, also bellafrench.com. Um, and on Facebook. On Facebook. And tomorrow, we will be launching a new show, Bella French Studies, uh, where you can learn to speak French from our favorite French Canadian and uh, with very, very useful words and phrases you should definitely know when traveling. I've heard that th- you can use this to get out of French stu- fr- French classes in college. Is that true? Is I it? believe oh, so. You can test out a French it's 101. It's accredited. Yeah. yeah it's oh, a, nice. She's accredited. Good. It's, accre- it's also probably accreditable for women's studies, too, because you definitely will study. Yeah. A Her, woman. Yeah. Well, it's, I would love good. for you to say well, that. Well, this makes a, a lot feminist. of sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, I probably should never be allowed to speak in front of feminists <laughs> or really anybody. In fact, I'm not quite sure how they let me on camera at all. Well, well you are wearing your sunglasses, so. True, so no one knows who I am. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, who, what are we talking about next? Uh, baseball? Got, baseball. Yeah, let's talk about baseball. Base- chicks to baseball. Love this time of year. So, because it's the ALCS and the ALDS, it's the championship series. Mm-hmm. Wait, is that no? That's that's the disease that Stephen Hawking has, right? Mm-hmm. ALS. Well, he, I I bet he wishes he had the ALDS <laughs> because then he would be an American League Division Series winner. <laughs> I'm going to help. You sure are. <laughs> no, uh, the uh, the Tigers are taking on the uh, the Tigers, the, yeah, the Detroit the, Tigers, the best team. Ever. Wow. I know. Are oh, you that's your serious? Team, right? you yes. Yeah. Scott, now, you grew up in Detroit, right, Scott? Uh, Grand Rapids, but Grand it's Rapids. Okay. it's it's the team for the state. Right. You, it's up there. Everybody loves the Tigers. Nerds, everybody. Whether you hate sports, you still love the Tigers. Okay, so they are now in? The American League Championship Series okay. facing off against the Red Sox. American League. Okay. And then they've oh, got the National League Championship. Yeah, I was going to say, there's American and there's National League. Yes. Okay. And the National League Series is between the uh, Dodgers and the Cardinals. And I'm really hoping I think the Cardinals will win. I don't want them to because they've beaten the Tigers. Like the, oh. Yeah, the that's Tigers true. The Tigers have been in the World Series three times in yeah. the last decade, and twice the Cardinals have beat them and once oh. the Giants. Ooh. So, I love the Giants. So, I, I saw do. them last year. Who are you calling for winner of the World Series? Oh, the Tigers. Tigers are going to win that. The Super Bowl, the NHL, Stanley <laughs> Cup. You, you put them in any sport, you they're going to win. It. Wimbledon. Yeah. 
I, they have a great backhand. <laughs> <laughs> and Miguel Cabrera, like he, he could win I a love Miguel crown. Cabrera. He played for the Marlins. Yeah, and then he started and playing he, for a good team. Yeah. Oh. Well, oh. they won the World Series in 2003, no, 1997 and 2003, I think. And then they traded away their best players after that. Yeah. Remember Miguel Pudge Cabrera. Rodriguez? He I played for, um, I think, Atlanta. Well, he played for uh, the uh, right, the. Texas Rangers. Mar- yeah, like, that's right. He Texas Rangers. For the Tigers yeah. For a while. Yeah. He was really good. I liked Pudge. Pudge was awesome. So attention, men. Not only does El Vega <laughs> want to get with your big butted girlfriend, she also knows about baseball. I love yeah, baseball. I okay. love football. I love watching sports. I was actually watching hockey last night. Wow. I like. I watched the Hurricanes lose. Who were they playing you against? Been on our Chicago Blackhawks. Well, to be fair, the Blackhawks are a better team usually. Well, I will say that last night's performance, it was a little bit mm, for the Blackhawks, you know, but the Hurricanes, they uh, missed. Were the Blackhawks down? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah they, they drop from the top of the ceiling, one yeah. breaks their leg, and then a bunch of Somalis <laughs> come and attack them all. From the audience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was really exciting to watch last there. night, although the Hurricanes did not win. Well, they'll have another year. The Hurricanes are usually a good team. Yeah. Shit, but yes. The best usually. part was the shootout that they had at the end because they were tied. Oh, okay. And yeah. so they did was a it, shootout. Was that when the Somalis came in? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> exact moment. And they, they grabbed the Blackhawks players and dragged them into the locker room and then beat <laughs> no, them. No, but. <laughs> dragged them around the city after they were beaten. But what they do is since they were tied, they were tied two I'm to two, I think it was. So you're listening. listening okay. You, yes. Thank you, Charlie. So they were tied two. They were tied up to cars. And then they went into an overtime. <laughs> right. And they had a shootout. Yeah, drag to the street. Which means that they pick five people mm-hmm. from each team to, like, go up to the, the, the goal yeah. thing and, and just shoot. And just, like, free shoot. Yeah, and it's just them and the goalie. It's great when you yeah. have a really good player who is, can really handle the puck. Yeah. And, like, Pavel Datsuk for the Red Wings, another great team. Anyway, mm-hmm. uh, the guy's a, a wizard when it comes to the puck handling. And then you can see it, especially in the free shots, mm-hmm. because that's when they just go down the, the, the ice all on their yeah, own. Yeah, yeah. It's and really cool. I, I, I thought about um, the Mighty Ducks, and I was thinking about Emilio Estevez, and it was cool. I'm, Wait, glad, the, I'm glad somebody's thinking you about Emilio Estevez. You had so much sports credibility. Until and the Mighty Ducks. threw it all away by Oh, come on. It's Ducks. a great movie. It is okay. a great movie. Everyone loves the Mighty Ducks. Yes. It, no matter who you are. They love them enough, they made a real hockey team called the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> they did? Yeah, that's the Anaheim Mighty Ducks owned by the Disney, yeah. I believe. Yeah. <laughs> of Probably. course, by and Disney. Not yeah. coached by Emilio Estevez. They oh, actually got a real man. coach. I, uh, <laughs> Although what I, are you I, saying? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So does that make he's you, not a real coach. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not? <laughs> Wait, what? does that make me un-American then to not like? I didn't the say Mighty all Ducks? Americans like Mighty Ducks. No. I said everyone loves the Mighty I, Ducks. I, 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 I'm not a big fan of the Mighty Ducks, but the movie. Well, no, the movie's okay, but I, yeah, mean, I don't it's like not. the movie. You know what movie I love that's sports related? Angels in the Outfield. You I Joseph, Joseph Gordon Levitt. I love that guy. <laughs> seen it? Yeah. I think I, my favorite. I've actually never seen that. No? You've never seen it? No. I. I the don't best know. part is Angels at the end when baseball. they're going like this. Because it's <laughs> angels yep. right. in the outfield. So that's your favorite. That's your favorite sports movie. Um, either The Sandlot or um, what's that one with um, that other baseball movie that he's a like a young kid and he grew up to be a, a an actor. Uh, oh, shoot. Rookie, he, of the rookie, rookie of the Year, Rookie of the Year. What's the guy's name? I, I forget. Know. He was. But in, I uh, loved. American I loved all Pie. the baseball movies mm-hmm. when I was a kid. Yeah, Rookie. I love baseball. I have a favorite sports film. What's your favorite sports film? Cool Runnings. Ah, oh, I love Cool <laughs> Runnings. Feel wow. the rhythm. Feel the ride. What Rhyme. is it? Rhyme. <laughs> They're co-opting uh, the Swiss. It's bobsled time. It's bobsled time. The Jamaicans bobsled time. were co-opting the Swiss bobsled team. Jamaica, we got a bobsled team. The it's Swiss a, have been co-opted purpose. too many times, <laughs> and Jamaica has not at all. True. So it's about time that so, we... Cool Runnings is the perfect I think these were all Disney movies. Oh, God. Yeah. So, Skylar, favorite sports film? Uh, cool Field of Dreams. Ooh, I really like that just because it's uh, baseball, and every time he says, want to have a catch, I'm just like, no one's ever <laughs> said that. <laughs> He's like, hey, Dad, want to have a catch? And it's just like... No, I, what, I've is never, that? what does that mean? Hey, you want to go play catch? Like, yeah. it's never been have a catch, so now... Have a catch is now a word. Like the creepy whispers. Yeah. Yeah. If you build it, they will come. 
Yeah. It's like, it's like a horror movie, but also a baseball movie at the same time. Don't make Water World. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. All right. What about, what about you? Do you have a favorite sports movie? My favorite sports movie is Rocky. Ah, that's a, that's a, that's a I love classic. boxing movies. Classic. I love boxing Rocky movies. Rocky is just a great movie. Yeah, they have a new movie coming out where it's, uh, I know it's that this is the whole point of it, but I love it. It's uh, De Niro versus mm-hmm. Stallone. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And uh, I, I love boxing movies, still do. And I love Raging Bull. And mm-hmm. I'm a quarter Italian, so when I leave <laughs> a Rocky movie, I'd be like, the Italian Stallion! <laughs> Absolutely. And, uh, and it, it's such a great underdog success yeah. triumph movie. But know? with this movie that's coming out, it's ha- it has De Niro and um, Stallone. Stallone. So they're bo- but they're both going to be the underdogs, right? I because they so. come back to fight each other as old dudes. Yeah. Who's the most underdoggy? Yeah. You, I'm gonna you say, never know. Uh, uh, De Niro because he hasn't taken steroids. Mm. Yeah, I mean, mm. he's actually relied on acting ability in the past 20 years. Ooh, that's Ooh. true. <laughs> now that's true. I mean, Stallone made Copland and stuff, but no. Yeah. <laughs> St- here's the thing with Stallone is within his range, he actually is a respectable actor. Yeah, he's yeah. got an Academy Award yeah. for writing for Rocky. Writing for Rocky. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, it's just the guy is can be a really good actor when he wants to be. It's just that everyone's willing to give him millions upon millions of dollars to grab a gun and shoot it at something. That's right. You know, and if you look at the like the original Rocky, it's actually not a cheesy movie. He doesn't win at the end, right? Yeah, no, he loses he just, to Apollo Creed. He loses, it's just he lasts 15 rounds, you know? It's, yeah. a, it's a movie about perseverance even when you lose, which is mm-hmm. a really, like, a very powerful message. And, like, the original First Blood is actually a really powerful movie as well. Well, yeah, yeah it's not the throw a gun in somebody's hand and make him run around. No. It's this person standing up for what they, what they believe and mm-hmm. he's this... Vietnam vet during yeah. that whole era of Vietnam movies. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it was it was very poignant. So you know it was really actually good. a book, First Blood? Really? Yeah, I read the book, um, and uh, it's a great book, but the at the end of the book, he dies. Oh. And he, and it was such a depressing ending that the studio changed it when they made the movie. That probably would have made a better movie, actually. It probably would have been. They usually movie. change everything from the book to the movie. Yeah, it's like, it's like if Deer Hunter didn't have the uh, friggin' uh, Russian roulette scene. Yeah, yeah, it's like... Too often the studios, they want to make it sort of soft or family-friendly or more yeah, accessible. Yeah. And they end up killing something that I think could have been really artistic. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. that's the thing. Like, movies, I'm going to start being a movie nerd. But movies, they've taken away the edge. They have. They've taken well, away. Well, Disney movies have plenty of people dying in it, okay? Like, know, The they're, Lion they're King. All, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Bambi. Come on. Well, that, all the dying begins is at the beginning in those because it develops the younger characters so they can go on and be the guy who kills the bad guy. So the most that important is part true. Is just, just yeah, I where, never it, thought of that. Try end. to think of a Disney movie where the guy or someone in the movie dies at the end. Never. Exactly. Hmm. I'm, that's sure that one. I'm sure well, that there's one. I'm sure that there's one. There you've got uh, Beauty and the Beast, but the bad guy dies at the end. Right. So right. It's, and yeah. it's always the bad guy dying at the end. Hmm. That's where death yeah. is appro- appropriate. <laughs> when bad guys are involved, but good right. guys only die at the beginning. Yeah, it's a That's story. Right. That's right. Yeah. Eat your vegetables and be the good guy. Yeah, right. because otherwise you're going to die at the beginning. Yeah, of the- <laughs> if you're the good guy, you probably won't die. Unless you're at the beginning. Unless you're of like the, the good guy's dad. Yeah, the good guy's dad always dies. Uh, always have a bad kid. I think that's the moral <laughs> of the story. Have a horrible child who could never turn out and be anything. No, but that nope. was the Lion King too. No, that was King Arthur. <laughs> Mordred oh, kills King thing. Arthur at the end. Hakuna yeah. Matata. So what else do we have on our list? No. What else do we have on our... Oh, no. we were going to talk about... Um, oh, oh, yeah. So speaking of movies, yeah. so, um, if you didn't catch it in theater, you can now own a copy of Man of Steel on Blu-ray. Um, now, I guess apparently it's the 75-year anniversary of mm-hmm. Superman. Awesome. He, he looks really good. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, like for yeah. pushing 75. <laughs> yeah, he does. Now, so here's something interesting about Superman. I recently went back and reread Action Comics number one, which was wow. the very first appearance of Superman. Yeah. What's fascinating is that in Action Comics number one, Superman can't fly. Right? Ah. Interesting. He what he actually can do is leap tall buildings in a single, single bound. bound. Yeah, he can't yeah. fly, right? I remember that. He also isn't strong enough to lift up like a seven forty seven or a ship liner. So what is what is he's his thing? Strong enough. To, he's strong he enough. He just to jumps lift up. high. Yeah, he's strong enough to lift up a car. He can jump over a skyscraper, and he's tough enough that he's bulletproof, but he couldn't survive, like, an atomic bomb or something. Hmm. So he's a lot more of a human character mm-hmm. than actually is really at risk, and I think, therefore, much more interesting than the sort of godlike figure yeah. he becomes like. He's yeah. supposed to be the people's superhero. Yeah, yeah initially and, he was. And strangely, Clark, Clark Kent can fly in that series. Huh? Yeah. No. No. Another no. superpower is that he's very agile, and he can change very quickly in a phone booth. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah. That's that's skill. I it's can't skill. change that quickly in a, in a bedroom. <laughs> it's. I mean, it's, it's, it's a skill. <laughs> Let alone in a phone booth. <laughs> well, do you know, it's a big problem for Superman, though, because there are no more phone booths because everyone uses mobile phones. Oh, oh. shit. So, like, what that's do we do? actually... Well, that's actually why Superman hasn't been seen in New York City recently. Oh. 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 That and he's 75 years old. He probably can't get around very uh, quickly. He's probably got someplace that's... He's ageless, that, guys. Yeah. He's probably got a rent-controlled place on the Upper East Side. <laughs> Do you know, okay, do or he's moved to Florida. He <laughs> could have moved to Florida by now. He lives in Boca. Yeah. He's <laughs> this soup's a little hot. <laughs> I, I raise. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my we god. love Superman. And he yeah. rushes to the blue plate special. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm getting a six pack of abs today. (laughs) All right, so who do we think was the best Superman, right? So we have the Zack Snyder Superman. So let's get like a top three. We have Christopher Reeve. Yeah. Right? Then we have the return of Superman actor. Then we have the recent Man of Steel actor. We count Smallville. We have Smallville. Yep. Yep. And then. and then we have, of course, the old one from the radio dramas and the original the mm-hmm. Buster Crab era TV shows. Mm. Uh, okay. Buster Crab. I think I'm going to go with Christopher Reeve. Yeah. I, he, Buster Crab was the original Flash Gordon. Yeah, he was, actually. Yeah. I used to have the biggest crush on him when I was younger. Is that because he's blonde and has a big butt? Christopher Reeve? Christopher Reeve. When I, when he, like a long, oops, <laughs> when I was really yeah. young. Yeah. Just say yes. Before yeah. he dyed his hair black. Yes. <laughs> and took up horse riding. Oh, so sad. Ooh, stop it. <laughs> that is so sad. It is sad. It's I'm not so saying sad. it's happy. Bless his heart. So, yeah, I agree. I really like the Christopher Reeve Superman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I watched, it, yeah. yeah. And I've I never watched a lot of Smallville. I've never seen Smallville. So I'm, you know? I'm, I'm blanking on his name right now, but I watched a lot Tom, of Smallville. I think it's Wil- Wilkins. I don't remember. I don't know. Somebody, somebody comment with his name. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't remember it. But It's an actor. I watched an a lot actor. of it. And I like the, uh, I always kind of like. Oh, what about Dean Cain? Wasn't he in? Uh, he was in uh, the Lois one. Superman oh, and Lois. That's, that oh, was, yeah, Clark yeah. and Lois. Yeah. Yeah, there's another one. That's yeah. right. There's a lot. Yeah. I don't know. I like, I so like when Smallville. you. Yeah, I like Smallville because it, it gave you a different perspective. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the Superman you knew already. Right, yeah. right. Who was the Who was the girl that played Lois in Clark and Lois? Oh, um, uh, Terry Hatcher. Terry Hatcher. Terry yeah, Hatcher, she was she yeah. was a good Lois. Yeah, yeah. yeah. better than what's her name, uh, Margot Kidder. I don't know who that she is. was. In, she Christopher was in the Richard Donner, the uh, Christopher Reeve Superman. I, you know, I actually haven't loved. She just almost, looked a lot, a lot of crazy. Yeah, I haven't loved anyone they've cast as Lois. Honestly, I didn't like the most recent Lois either. Amy Adams. Yeah. Well, I think I think we've got ten women here that um, any one the of them could be Lois. Yeah. Be Lois. yeah, Wonder Woman. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, Amazonian. Yeah. Blonde, there's, big butt. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of superhero <laughs> potential on our ten. So yes. Yes. that's the happiest I've seen L ever. Yes. <laughs> so what superhero would they be? I mean, who would? Okay, what superhero would Bella French be? Uh, oh Superman. God, Supergirl. 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 Supergirl or Black Canary or Black Canary. Yeah, yeah. she made Check a out great the, uh, Black Canary. There's a photo shoot. Oh, was it, yet, what about? It'll be up soon. Didn't where she, she say she wanted to be like a ninja or something? She did also want to be a ninja. Yeah, she could be so, any ninja from. Uh, well, it's not. That's not a superhero. Sorry, Mortal yeah. Kombat. Yeah. What about? That's who, what I was thinking. Who else Sonya. looks like a superhero? Uh, well, uh, let me unfold this piece uh, of paper. I think I've. Oh, you got. Yeah. Vi- Amy Jane Brand or Violet Four Twenty. She could be Violet Four Twenty. Could be Cat uh, Wolverine's, Wolverine's daughter. Cat or, Woman. Uh, What's her name? Yeah. I, I don't know, remember her name. Wolverine has a daughter. Didn't it was like X daughter. something. Well, Does no, she doesn't really have like. She a, could also be the one that was uh, the the one that has the titanium claws that burst out that fights yeah. Wolverine. That's Lady Deathstrike. Lady Deathstrike. Yeah, I think Violet Four Twenty could be Lady Deathstrike. Yeah, definitely. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, she's she's probably a little too evil looking to be Wonder Woman. You know, she has a little yeah. too dark of an edge. Well, whatever. She Brand. she can save me. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amy Jane Brand could be Supergirl, so that Bella could be Black Canary. Yeah, so I don't go around that. I, you know what? I kind of want to give Bella the Supergirl because she's more powerful. Okay. Right. That's, that's fair. I and just it. can't stop staring at Shanika's ass. She could be Black Canary. She too. Can she be could ass be woman? Storm. 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 Yeah. Shanika Storm was Storm, super right? awesome. Yeah. Okay. Or yeah. super ass woman. Uh, who, yeah, super. Who could be Catwoman? We need a Catwoman. We do need a Catwoman. Oh, Lexi. Lexi's got some cat eyes. Yeah, Lexi yeah. is Catwoman. Her. I think Aaliyah has really pretty cat eyes too. See? Yeah, but Catwoman is traditionally a brunette. Yeah. Mm. Catwoman is traditionally a brunette. So, um, I think. I mean, I feel like we're putting together a really sexy all-girl team here. Yeah. yeah. Maybe this could be a show. I think this should be a show. Ladies, 
ladies of the top ten internet babe list, would you dress up in superhero outfits and shoot a show? Please with say us? yes. Let us know <laughs> which Please. one you want to be. Please. For yeah. Charlie's sake, don't crush Charlie Please. and Elle's hearts. Look at look at yeah. this precious face. Please. Please, so happy. You don't want her to be sad because then she starts killing things. Yeah, it's not a good day. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah, so we had to restaff the office last week. That's rough. Yeah, that's true. Did we talk about what superpowers we had last? last yeah, podcast? What, what we would want. Yeah, what we would want. I don't remember whatever. I don't was remember could, what I said because uh, I want to be every end, though, powerful thing I can. Think uh, of. I, it doesn't hurt. All right, well, Skylar. Uh, I'm still gonna go with flying. Flying. That's right. Charlie? Just because I'm jealous of those damn birds. Um, last time I think I said teleportation. I'm already a psychic. So <laughs> what am I thinking right now? Um, wait, no, i got to answer Blonde my butts. question. Other than Shanika. <laughs> Shanika, um, Shanika Adams. Shanika Adams. My <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. My <laughs> She's pointing right to the ass. <laughs> Tapping that ass. Clearly, clearly, your, clearly your superpower is not self-control. No, it's not. It's definitely not. Um, let's do... I want claws. Claws? You want to be a cat? Okay, do you want, now what type of claws do you want? Do you want the fingernail claws no. or these claws? I like, think I want the Wolverine The ones claws. that come out like yeah, fingernail claws are going to break too often. I see. The like schnick, this is schnick. less likely to break. But this well, really fair. hurts though. Yeah, the, but it, have you ever broken a fingernail? But it's yes. adamantium. It doesn't break. Yeah. Right. It's the strongest. Also, my whole bone, all of my bones would be. So you want to be Wolverine? I want, yeah. Well. Basically. Yeah. I want to be Hugh Jackman. I want to do <laughs> Hugh Jackman. <laughs> hey. You can be Hugh Jackman. Okay. And, and then I'll do you. Let's do this. Do Perfect. Yeah, superheroes Wonderful. done. Okay. Done. Uh, Max and I can leave for like 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to leave the camera turn into on. Hugh Jackman over here. <laughs> it's private in here. <laughs> um, what, what about you? My superpower. So I, as a, as a kid, I was a big fan of Green Lantern, right, okay. who had a ring. Mm -hmm. And the ring's power was that whatever he could imagine uh, he could create with the force of his will. I'm a fairly strong-willed person. So I think that would be a really good superpower for me. But as um, an adult, do you, do you feel that your imagination has uh, waned in the end? No. Really? My imagination is stronger than ever. Wow. Yeah. Then perfect. Yeah, That'd I mean, fantastic. The other day, I realized that most of you were actually figments of my imagination. I was really impressed. He's on to us. No, but we yeah. don't. We don't know who's who is real and who's not. Well, it, the, ah. re the reality is that you're in a coma somewhere, and this isn't really happening. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> remember that time? You, remember that time you hit your head that one time? And coma. What, what, about, what about all the people who are watching this? Then are they also figments of my imagination? Well, there yeah, isn't that's anyone. A, that's an intense. This is all. This is this all is a private head. room. This is a safe zone. Yeah, oh, this isn't actually hooked up to anything. Maybe this I'll is like the king of comedy, and you're R Rupert Pump Pumpkin. This got really Pumpkin. dark. I wish my this life. got really dark. Okay, so uh, <laughs> your superpower would be to be Green, uh, Green Lantern, was it? Yeah, the, yeah, I think the power was called force manipulation or yeah. something. Oh, the okay. power of your mind. I don't remember what I had picked. Well, Captain pick again. Planet's okay, brother. well, I want to be... Mm, I want to have all the powers... You should have. Oh, I want to be the most a, powerful um, woman so in the a, world. I, 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 I want to be Bella French. You should be <laughs> the girl from Wonder Twins. She turns into any animal ever. What about like Captain Planet? I no. want. I want to be no. Captain. I have a nice uh, garden. The ability to transform into animals <laughs> is the lamest possible power you can have. It's. I, I don't it's know. Cool. No, Depends where you are. No, it's, it's survival lame. Lame. fittest. Lame. <laughs> lame. Lame. I like, actually, well, if you if you work at a zoo, it would be awesome. I, have, I don't want to work at a zoo. I have carefully tested this power in many different superhero role playing games. Okay, that's it's fair. It's a lame power. Well, that's, I mean, that's fair. It's something it's Grizzly Man really could have used. It's lame. It's lame. <laughs> Please don't eat. What's me. another one for? Oh, mind sorry. control. Now that's a power you want to have. Mind control. You know, I think to read somebody's mind is one thing, but mind control. I mean, that's pre that's pretty evil. Well. Don't he, get don't Charles get, maybe Xavier, both both would be better. Professor X doesn't like make people do anything, but he could. That's right. And Professor X is an outlaw in a wheelchair. Oh, see, he just has things against bald people, don't you? If you're bald, you're an outlaw. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. If you're as powerful as Professor X, you should be the man, the power behind the throne of the White House, creating world peace, solving our government crisis. And bringing peace to the mutants. Well, he's trying to, but see, humanity has a problem with new things. Well, again, he has mind control. Just whoa, whoa, fix it. Fix it, bro. Use your power. <laughs> All right. I'm I have, just, yeah. I'm sorry. I, know, I have a question for you. Um, is shape-shifting, human shape-shifting, is that also as lame? 
What do you mean? Uh, no, 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 like no. Mystique. No, that is a great power. Yeah, then, I would like okay. to have that power. Then you, okay. then you can become blonde and then have a I big ass and yeah. show up yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing a shapeshifter right now. Oh, okay. Oh, that is a good power. I'm really not. Okay. I'm just because kidding. you can actually like, for instance, that one. I mean, imagine like you're like, oh, I want to run this company. You know, you just make someone disappear. You take over their. I mean. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. or the world. Yeah. Exactly. Whoa. So, Off that, with their heads. That's a good power. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, let's see. What else do we have to talk about today? Oh, let's talk about the Ask Every Joe questions. You know what? Actually, let's take our break first. Oh, good call. And then we will come back and we will talk about Ask Every Joe. And during, go and during the break, the, they'll go fight. And, and we won't Hugh film Jackman, it. And, and then we'll come back and then everything right. will be over. All right. So <laughs> break time. And uh, we're going to be back after Elle and Charlie get it on. All right, so we've got about 10 minutes left in our podcast, and we're going to talk a little bit about an Ask Every Joe problem, actually three problems that have been presented to our elite team for answers. So let's dive in here. All right, I'll go ahead and read the first one. So I found out that my wife is cheating on me. No. I put a secret camera secret camera (laughs) in our bedroom, and it turns out she's banging her ex-boyfriend while I'm at work. Lame. But instead of being mad, I'm actually turned on. In Me. fact, every night I masturbate to the footage of those two having sex. Is this weird? What yes. do you guys think? Yes. Yes, it's weird. I, well, I think it's weird that he has footage of them. I I think it's well. And he, he continues it, to play it. Yeah. Over and over and over again. It's it's some people are into that kind of thing, but usually right. it's like the other person's involved. Being right. part of the fantasy. Yeah. It's, Maybe it's he's, like it, it being because he's not even technically involved with it. Right. I mean, yeah. as, as considering that's his girlfriend and her ex-boyfriend wife, right? or wife. Yeah, I mean, Someone I think he's, he's just, with. he he gets a hard on seeing, you know, somebody else fucking his wife, you know? Like, yeah. he's like, that's my wife, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. he has, like, this sense of pride, like, oh, I, yeah. that's he, my wife. He should still probably talk to her about the cheating because who yeah. knows what's going to happen there. <laughs> they might need to go get checked. Yeah, yeah or but, she might get pregnant or something and... But I bet they could work out something, right? Like, if he told her, hey, baby, you know, I don't mind if you sleep around, but let me film it. Yeah, and let let me be involved in the guy selection instead of your ex, which there's more it's more than just sex. Yeah, that's a little disrespectful. Well, hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking, like, if I'm trying to make somebody else feel jealous of what I have, I want it to be... Um, somebody that um, has like an investment with my wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, like be like, oh, you're the ex boyfriend. Well, I'm the new boyfriend and I'm the husband. So there. If it was just like the male man, I'd be like, okay, whatever. Like, you never had anything to do with my it wife anyway. So it would have to be somebody like important to her at some point in her yeah, life. You that, know what that, I mean? That's even worse. That, yeah, I you're think thinking it would, about it like a girl rather than a guy. Like with, no, maybe because I am a girl. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, from a guy point of view. Yeah. No, any connection she has outside of that just ruins everything. Exactly. Because then it's then it's someone that. If it's the mailman or something, she's mm-hmm. not going to leave you for the mailman or something. It's like, oh, okay, well, then she's banging the mailman, done. But if it's an ex-boyfriend, it's like there's more associated with that than just sex. And also, from the point of view, like, so the ex-boyfriend gets to have sex, but he isn't responsible for the emotional investment, yeah. the monetary mm-hmm. investment. Like, you know, he's essentially milking the cow without having to buy the cow, right? Yeah. That's not a good deal. Yeah, and after she, he laid out milk. a bunch of cash for this cow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's the next question? All right, the next question. Oh, who's, got, who's got number two? I have this new girlfriend who loves giving me blowjobs, but only in public. It's great and disturbing at the same time. When we drive by a park, she'll have to pull over so we can get out and she can go down on me. But in my bedroom, she acts like my penis spits battery acid. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I just love that line. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's our tagline. I love our fans. Yeah, mean, no, these, are the these are real problems. Ever. These are how real I, problems. How can I get her to bring that outdoor passion in my bedroom? So the guy wants to be private, you know, yeah. have his dick sucked in the comfort of his own home. Yeah. yeah. I don't blame him. Yeah, um, I don't blame him either. It's fu- I mean, don't get me wrong. It's fun to do the uh, the public thing, but... Uh, uh, so right. how, how, does our, how does our guy you, solve this? You re-wallpaper your bedroom. Yeah. Make so it, that it looks out, like it's outside. Or move next to a park. 
There's there's options. Get a green screen. There are so many possibilities. Yeah. I think I think she I think what you do is you invite one of her friends over to watch. Not her ex boyfriend. Not, Not the ex boyfriend. <laughs> <Her> girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's or maybe a good idea. or maybe you you tape it. Right? You tape it, and you guys can watch it together later. Or hire the hmm. neighborhood kid who would probably do it for five bucks. Or hire oh. the neighborhood kid to watch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, after he's done shoveling the, the driveway, <laughs> no, hey, what will you we'll watch my ass. wife and I do some horrible things? Instead <laughs> of paying him for mowing the lawn, he gets to watch. Watch, watch my wife treat my penis like it's spitting battery acid. <laughs> <laughs> Which should be our show. So oh, now that, that should be a sitcom. My penis spits battery acid. <laughs> yeah. I mean, now I'm thinking of those aliens with the penis-shaped heads that actually do spit acid. In, E.T.? In, no. <laughs> oh, the Indian an alien. Yeah. It's a, yeah. it comes it's like their strange. heads actually are yeah. shaped like penises, and they yeah. Well, it out. helps when Geiger designs you. Yeah, it's true. Anyway, all right. So we got that settled for you. So third question. Okay, um, my wife is a kindergarten teacher who never curses or raises her voice. She's literally an angel. But when I looked at her internet search history. I was shocked. She watches more porn than I do, and it's all interracial gangbang porn. Oh, I nice. Whoa. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Interracial gangbang porn? Wow. Quoted. That is you hot. Know, nine out of ten people enjoy a gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> the question is, what should I do what about it? What is the woman? <laughs> <laughs> you are going to hell with me. <laughs> oh, I've already got a seat saved. <laughs> uh, so, the question is, what should I do about it? It really bothers him. I think so. that they should watch it together. Yeah. It bothers him that yeah. she watches more porn than he does? She's perfect in every well, aspect, but it really bothers just me. Just talk to her, first of all. I mean, the big yeah. part is communication, so that it's actually... Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. on top of that, at least she's not showing the porn to the kids or watching at the same time as hanging out with the kids. Otherwise, she'd probably be a more popular teacher. Mm. Oh. There's, a, there's a lot of things that <laughs> she's a woman. are not I mean, bad about don't, this. Don't get in trouble for having sex with their students. Uh, oh, they yeah, do they do. Not, yeah. not as much as the guys. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I think I think what they should do, they should watch some yeah. together, and then, you know, and there are toys he could use to simulate a gangbang experience for her. Right, like, like a gun. nine of them. <laughs> be a lot. <laughs> I think on that note, that's what? a good place to stop. Yeah, we're stopping. We're stopping okay. there before it gets worse. Yeah, let us know what you guys think about today's podcast, and let us know about the answers that we gave you on the Ask Every Joe. Yes. Do you agree with us? Do you think that yeah. we're fucking crazy? We're yeah. probably fucking crazy. Probably. Yeah. And don't forget, we still agree. Check out the Ask Every Joe show, where our panel of girls, led by our sex expert Skylar Diebendorf, will share more answers. Woot. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. We'll see you guys next Thank week. You. Bye. Fantastic. Adios. <laughs>